Hi everyone, here we come now for another simple meal. We're simply going to have some mixed vegetables, vegetable stock cube, and some red lentils. And from that, we're hopefully, going to make some delicious soup. So, here goes. So, first step is with the vegetable cube. Just grab some hot water, put in the hot waterproof jug, fill it about halfway, depends how much you want to actually do. And then we're just going to give that a good old stir. So we are, we just put the vegetable stock cube in, just in a simple jug, about halfway, and we're just going to simply stir that in until it's completely dissolved. And we'll move on to the next stage. Right, so here we are now, got my little pan ready. Pour the veggie stock in. There we go. Oh, more steam up. Then we had frozen veg. These are just beans. Carrots, sweet corn, and peas. There we go. The next stage then is to add the lentil. Okay, so now we're going to add the lentils. I've put about that much in, but to be honest, it's down to your own personal taste. And it's a bit of a trial and error, but I hope we'll see how that works out. So in they go, and they're all stuck to the bowl, but not to worry, I'll get those out in a minute. I'm going to put them on the hob for about 15 minutes. Okay, so we are in the pan. It's just starting to warm up now, the frozen vegetables, they're all starting to uh, melt down now. So to that, I'm just going to simply add some dry chilli seeds and also some cumin as well, just some cumin seeds. Just mix those in, and this is all going to get blended later on. And in a little bit, then we'll also add a bit of black pepper and a few herbs as well. Tend not to put the salt in because the salt's already in the stock cube, so don't overdo that. Okay, I'll wait to the next stage. Okay, things are simmering along nicely now, so I'm just going to add a few dried herbs to that. Simply ones you just buy at the supermarket in the jars. Actually, looking all quite colourful now, so that will continue to cook now for about 10 15 minutes. Okay, so as you can see now, everything's cooked and ready, so we're now going to blend it and see how we get on with that. So here goes. A bit noisy. Can be messy. So I'll just do it a little bit at a time. So you get the consistency that you like. just about all right so here we go doing this one pour all this out oh, most of it as you can see there just as good as you can buy in the shops but you know exactly what's gone in it which is half the battle sometimes and you're not paying the price of the shops for all their ready-made soups oops a bit more steam there we go I always like to put a little bit of coriander on top to be honest just a personal taste there you go very nutritious very cheap very easy hope you enjoy one more little thing just to let you know that the cumin seeds and the chilli flakes give that little bit of uh, extra flame and a little bit of bite that actually just makes it that little bit more special a bit more sort of tasty excellent way of just using some spares up Maybe some just some odd things you got in the back of the freezer that just you want to use up. I'm not quite sure how to do it. Kids will love this with some toasty soldiers. Um, just keep playing, keep experimenting and make new ones up. This is just completely done off the cuff, spur of the moment video. All I've got is just my little digital camera, so the sound's terrible. Hands are all shaky because I'm only just holding at this, but hey, have to try sometime. Thanks, guys.